Hi, my name is Gemma Lloyd, CEO of Work180. Work180's purpose is to empower every woman to choose a workplace where they can thrive. And one of those workplaces is BAE Systems. I'd like to welcome Danielle Messer, Chief People Officer from BAE Systems. How are you, Danielle? I'm great. Thank you, Gemma. It's great to be here today. Why is equality important to BAE Systems? It's just about making sure that our workplace is set up in a way that enables us to attract the best talent. And in doing that, it's creating the conditions and the environment where people can balance their personal life, their family life and their work life. Ultimately, if you think about the population, women make up for almost half of the population. And so we have a huge resourcing challenge ahead of us in the coming years. And it's really, really critical that we actually start to increase um, gender diversity in our space. Now, um, we have done some really, really great work, but it's not one of those things that you can you know, pay a little bit of attention to it, implement a few programs and ta-da, you've fixed it. Um, this is an ongoing, enduring activity and focus area for us. And we are really passionate about bringing more women and young girls into STEM from very, very early uh, careers right the way through and having a really um, thriving career with BAE Systems. Yeah, that's fantastic. And um, Work 180's had a long-standing relationship with BAE Systems and certainly noticed, you know, all of these amazing things that you're doing around the equality space. How does Work 180 support you to be able to achieve some of those gender equality goals? So look, Work 180, well, number one, our endorsement and the recognition that we're providing positive practices and processes within our business is really, really important to us. So we really wear that endorsement with a badge, um, but it actually gives us access um, and a profile to the market that we really, really want to tap into, as well as going through all of our um, traditional routes through universities and various different institutions and engineering groups and such. It actually gives us a much broader audience um, that is actually just focused on it from a gender perspective and creating that flexibility. And in your opinion, what are some of the things that BAE system does really well within the DNI space? There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. So look, um, if I really think about um, some of the really challenging, pointy parts of our business in the sense of we've got some of the best and brightest people working for us, working on emerging technology. Um, inventing new technology to, you know, problem solve for our customer. So we do a lot in that space around STEM and we need to and we will continue to. But in terms of things like um, flexibility and encouraging, um, our culture within our organisation is, you know, very proud and very supportive and a very positive culture. So we make sure that, you know, we continue to focus on um, both our gender uh, diversity, bringing in more and more women at every stage of the career, managing that as well as focusing on our culture to make sure, again, like I said, flexibility, making sure that the opportunities in our work conditions allow people to balance both work and family um, and their other interests. And speaking of flexibility, how does BAE Systems practically support flexible working within the organisation? So look, flexibility for BAE Systems has always been a way of life for us and it is a core part of our employment offering. Naturally, with uh, COVID-19, we've had to really focus a lot more. And in some ways, um, it's actually been quite a blessing because it's actually forced us um, to put more initiatives and support in place to do it on a much wider scale. So at the moment, for example, we have around 2,500 people working from home. And so we're spending a lot more focused effort on making sure our leaders are keeping our people connected, um, using digital collaboration tools and making sure that people are set up to work effectively from home. Now, we've implemented a number of um, webinars, training sessions, online resilience workshops to help our people balance the challenges, not just around COVID-19, but how to balance work and family life. And so, for example, lots of parents at home, homeschooling. So we've been really quite vocal about making sure our people understand you need to manage your time, create some boundaries, work with your leader, create some flexibility. You're not expected to be sitting in front of your computer from nine till five. Um, just work with that. And so we've just been making sure that we've used this as an opportunity to make sure our infrastructure and our support mechanisms are working as well as really getting our leaders to role model and connect with their teams. And another example of that is our CEO, Gabby Costigan, provides a weekly vlog to our entire business. 
And that's really, really important in terms of the messaging to every single one of our employees that what they are doing, regardless of where they're doing that work from, is really, really important. And then that's followed through by our leaders working with their teams, you know, virtual listening sessions, using Skype, using teleconference, our WebEx technologies and things like that. So really just making sure that all of those support mechanisms um, are working well and also that they will endure after COVID-19. So obviously we're in a very difficult climate at the moment. Can I ask, is BAE Systems actually still hiring? We've made quite concerted effort to make sure that our messaging out to the market and to the um, labour market is that we are still hiring. We still have a range of really, really important, impactful projects that help support the Australian Defence Force. Um, so, you know, protecting the people that protect us. So we are absolutely hiring. And obviously, a lot of those roles are engineering and project related roles. But as we grow, there are a number of support function roles that will also need to be um, recruited as well. So we are still hiring um, and we, we are having to be far more flexible about the way that we do that at the moment with COVID-19. So, for example, our graduate recruitment campaigns have been led largely through virtual um, careers fairs at the moment. A lot of our recruitment activity has gone online. So we do all of our interviews now. Um, via video and a whole range of those sort of things. So we've had to adjust and keep moving um, because we do have a very, very steady stream of jobs that we need to fill. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Danielle, for sharing that around BAE Systems. If you're interested in finding a job at BAE Systems, go to Work 180 and check out their policies and jobs on the website today.